What's up? How are you guys? It is episode four of our weekly vlogs, and this week is turkeys. Turkey pre-orders for Thanksgiving. I know it sounds a little early to some of you, but it is October 9th, and Thanksgiving is on November 23rd, so about a month and a half away, but in regards to when we're actually shipping the turkeys, uh, it's only about five weeks away because we cannot ship the turkeys the week of Thanksgiving. You know, if we send them on the 20th, you might not get them by the 21st, 22nd. You know, you want to have your turkey ready, you know, a day or two before you're cooking it because it's such a large bird. So we're planning on sending the turkeys out on November 13th, which is a Monday. So you guys should all receive the turkeys by the end of that week, having it perfectly in time for Thanksgiving. Now, since these are super fresh turkeys, you know, if you receive the fresh turkey on the 13th, you technically don't have to put it in the freezer. The meat is good for three to four weeks after being freshly slaughtered. But one of you emailed me and said, hey, Frank, can we get fresh turkeys or are they frozen? Now, our original plan was to send them frozen, but let me know if you guys do want fresh turkeys. Uh, we're gonna put like a $10 upcharge, but the main thing is there will be a disclaimer saying if the turkey meat does not arrive as cold as possible, then we will not be issuing a refund. So keep that in mind. If you guys do want to buy fresh turkeys, we're gonna try our best to not get it frozen in transit with dry ice or anything. However, if you want a fresh turkey and then you order me to say, oh, it's not cold enough, well, that, we might do that. There might be a disclaimer on there, but let me know if some of you guys do want them fresh. Otherwise, we're just gonna take the fresh turkeys, put them on dry ice. They might get a little cold during transit and then you guys will have the fresh turkeys for Thanksgiving. But the pre-orders are up available on the website now. It is only $155 for a corn and soy free Thanksgiving turkey. I don't remember how much regular Thanksgiving turkeys are, probably about half the price, but if you go anywhere else online, we have the most affordable corn and soy free turkeys by like double. You know, I, I think the cheapest turkey I saw was like $250. So I'm glad that we're able to provide people with an affordable corn and soy free turkey and people aren't spending like a ridiculous three or $400 for a heritage bird. So hopefully uh, this goes well this year and then we can plan on you know, improving it and making it even better next year. See, see what was in the turkey's feed, what we can change, how the flavor is, all that type of stuff and how you guys like it. But yeah, pre-order your turkey now through you know, that week of November 13th. And uh, we have plenty of turkeys. I just wanted to start the pre-orders early to make sure that it's not some crazy thing where we do actually sell out. I wanna make sure everyone gets their turkey. So, and, and guys, if anything happens, if there's, if we do run out of turkeys or there's a shortage or something, uh, if a meteor comes down and strikes the Amish farmer's turkey barn, well, <laughs> uh, then of course we will issue a refund. So guys, don't, don't worry about any of that type of stuff. If you do wanna reserve turkey, just place the pre-order uh, as soon as you can. Yeah, so that's the main thing to announce for today, Monday, guys. We'll go take a quick look around. Uh, I would do some stuff myself, but I don't, I don't know what's wrong with my hands and my wrists. I got like stress fractures and I can't do like, you know, I'm not doing like super heavy duty physical labor stuff, but it, the, the things I do are you know, heavy enough that I'm having a hard time now. You know, like I was cutting a rubber mat earlier with a knife and I was having a hard time. So hopefully my, my these stretch fractures or whatever they are on my hands and wrists get a little better. I should probably give it a rest for a week or two. I'll just show you guys something real quick in the warehouse here. Uh, those are some meat orders we have packed up this week. Now these are the ice bins that we get the dry ice in. So we're weighing them and the issue is since the ice company delivers on Tuesday and we can't ship until Monday We are losing a lot of money worth of ice every week That being said the new dry ice supplier is you know so much cheaper than the old one that even if we're losing a few hundred dollars worth of ice every week from melting We're still saving money in the long term. It's just it never ends dude. These are the rest of the meat orders My guys have been packing up all morning showed you guys last week. I think the Natural collagen is now in stock along with my other creative ideas, flextrose, lemon light, 
grass-fed whey protein. All the non-meat business orders have been sent out today, Monday as well. The foods, the organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, naturals, everything. I'll show you guys, we got the eggs shipping out right now. We're just kind of a mess. This is all the remaining eggs we have for this week. So still some duck eggs available. Let's see anything in the freezer. So my guys are finishing the rest of the orders for today, Monday. Yeah, I think we're out of barley stew. Only about 10 left. I'm not gonna show you guys anything in the freezer today because there's no new restocks yet. And we just showed you guys yesterday, which was Sunday in the last vlog. So maybe that restaurant equipment will finally come today. If not, it's definitely coming tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll have some other deliveries coming in this week. Hopefully those labels come because uh, otherwise we'll be really, really behind if we gotta wait another week to get these products listed. But that should be it for today, Monday, guys. So uh, I guess I will see you for Tuesday's vlog because I can't think of anything else that needs to be done. What's up, guys? It is Tuesday. I am in somewhat disbelief because believe it or not, our Chinese friend sent the money back. He was telling the truth. The sketchiest interaction I've ever had in my life. But when I saw the money hit my account this morning, I was tempted to go to the bank, convert it to yen, and then just throw the Chinese yen all over the place and have a, I don't know, what's, what's the holiday? They just had Golden Week over there in China. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, Jacob, how you doing, buddy? Amish buddies were calling me again. But yeah, I guess I'm going to have to open like uh, an organic Chinese restaurant or something in celebration of the CCP. Praise the Chinese Communist Party, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess so that's some good news. The restaurant supply guy should be coming. Uh, I'm just hemorrhaging money over here, guys. It's it's ridiculous. I've been spending probably five, at least 5000 a month just fixing stuff in here. It's enough. It's ridiculous. It's never ending hopefully hopefully it cools down a bit but i've been saying that since we got in here in june and like the the freezers and coolers i've probably spent at least three thousand dollars in hvac work every single month in addition to that initial cost that i had with the bank loan so it's, it's not good but maybe we'll get some relief let's take you guys around we, we didn't really do much today my guys packed away some some organs and uh just did some orders today but hopefully Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we get caught up on some stuff. We get everything away. We can label everything, clean up a bit. New ice is a bit more convenient, but as I was complaining yesterday, you know, we're losing a few hundred dollars a week in it. Yeah, we just cleaned up the floor in here after doing a little work. I don't think I have much to show you guys today. Does this button work? It does. Yeah, we got more beef liver than you would ever want. And my guys always put too much. You see that says 1.16 pounds. This is, you know, 1.015, 1.07. So, you know, most companies will send you less meat than advertised. We end up sending more meat, you know, that's 1.1 pounds. So not only is the beef liver the lowest price online at, at $10, but it's also you're getting way more. We restocked the chicken broth and honestly, I was going to stop making this because, you know, the level of flavor we have in this broth and the amount we're charging for it, it's just, it's just like unheard of. It's insane, you know. You'd have to spend, you know, $40, $50 in chicken just to get a broth this concentrated yourself. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new in the uh, freezer today. And, you know, since my guys are just doing orders and it's kind of like a routine day, uh, I don't have much to show you guys. I have to fill some orders for the uh, non-meat businesses but hopefully we can launch the tooth powder and the lip balm this weekend and then the organ supplement stuff we can launch next week yeah there's not much going on today if that guy does bring the restaurant equipment today i'll just i'll just show you guys tomorrow i'll show you guys everything tomorrow because we probably have to clean it up and stuff too. I think I told you guys last week we should be getting a farm into the spring. I'm actually going to go see it for the first time on Saturday. So I'm not looking forward to that drive. And I like commit myself to stuff. But then like if I take that drive and it's a complete nightmare, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it consistently. If it's only once a week, three hour drive, then maybe it's okay. It's like in the middle of PA by it's like past Penn State. 
is that what it's called? Penn State, State College. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that drive goes. We'll take a look at the property. The good news is I can get a USDA loan on it, which is, is much more reasonable interest rate. Honestly, I wonder if I could have, I mean, you know, no point in crying over spilled milk. Could have got a USDA loan on this property and not get not have gotten killed on the interest rate. Also, if I sell or finance this property, it would have been, uh, uh, you wouldn't have to pay the crazy flood insurance price, but oh well. Oh, the labels are over there on the floor, in the corner, as if a homeless person had thrown them. I'll have to, uh, <laughs> this fucking UPS guy, dude. All right, so I guess we do have the labels for the tooth powder and the uh, lip balm. So hopefully we can get that ready by tomorrow or a few of them ready soon. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure if it's going to be a reasonable thing to do because I'd have to buy that property out there. I'd have to get a house out there. I don't know if I'm juggling too many things at once, but I'll think about it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. I don't want these vlogs to be so long because last week was like an hour long. So maybe some more eventful stuff happens in... Uh, in the next few days but right now i'm just like rambling on and on about stuff so i'll see you guys for tomorrow wednesday what's up guys it is wednesday and since those labels came in yesterday i want to show you guys the two new products we have on the naturals website so the first one is the remineralizing tooth powder with magnesium calcium and vitamin k2 this is special because it's minimal ingredients and there aren't any other tooth powders or toothpaste formulas using K2 which is necessarily to actually put the physical mineral into the bone aka the teeth so unless you have that in the mix or you're taking it separately it's not going to be effective we got a really funny logo and the graphic designer I was actually mad and I didn't want to pay for the logo but it looks so stupid I thought it was funny so I figured I'll just use it because it's <laughs> kind of doofy looking and then over here we have our new lip balm logo beefy lips <laughs> lip balm i thought it was, it was kind of silly it's just a beef towel lip balm we, we sold this uh, a few years ago we ended up switching to coconut oil but uh, the beef tallow is a better product it stays on the lips longer lasts longer and it's more protective especially in the colder weather so both of these guys will be on frankiesnaturals.com i think we're gonna bring the deodorant back next i'm not 100 percent sure yet uh, we have a lot of hair pomade i might just do a new logo and a new label on the hair pomade but i always get irritated like that label for the lid of the tooth powder logo is not necessarily exactly the correct size so i keep measuring stuff and then the label doesn't turn out good and then i you know i'm not going to spend another 200 dollars to reprint the labels for each individual product but uh, let me show you guys the restaurant equipment that came in yesterday we're still waiting on some stuff so i don't think this thing looks as big on camera as it is it's like bigger than me this is uh exhaust fan for this hood over here this is like a 10 by 4 foot hood i could you know you could like fit three or four people in this thing <laughs> yeah so we got this huge hood that's gonna go over this skillet here and i'm gonna get a large steam kettle so i think everything is going to fit we're going to have the four foot skillet the four foot steam kettle and then the the gas burner so we're going to put the electric skillet on the right and then the gas steam kettle and the gas burners on the left and uh, everything should fit under here with that huge exhaust fan still waiting on just some steel tables and an oven for my house so i can cook the bread outside all that steam kettle is a uh, separate purchase coming from someone else it's it's another four thousand dollars and i didn't really want to get it but it's like a 60 gallon steam kettle which is literally three times the size of any of the pots we've been using if we have to make soup or anything so it's going to be nice and save me a lot of time and labor and especially electric bill if we get that steam kettle we'll just do you know one big batch of bone broth one big batch of soup, one big, whatever it is, it's gonna save so much time. You know, instead of having three different pots to make bone broth, we just have one huge kettle, it's timed, it's a quick batch, and it's, it's easy, it's easy. Yeah, either way, this is a smart investment because even if we do end up getting like a meat processing facility, if you have USDA in there, the requirements for the processing, you need like a HACCP plan and everything, so, 
from a business perspective, what you really want to do is have one place where you're doing all the meat processing and then another place where you're doing all the food and stuff because the retail exemption laws and rules are a lot different for food production. You know, USDA is for you know wholesale selling to other businesses as well. If you're just selling directly to the public, you don't need that. I know some of you guys give me shit for the smoke alarm, but I cannot reach these smoke alarms. I don't have a ladder that's tall enough. And the owner of this building told me that like you're supposed to put a stack of pallets on the forklift, sit on them and go up there. I'm not crazy enough to do that. And that smoke alarm in the fridge is also it's too high for my ladder. I can't even reach it. So I'm gonna rent like a when I rent the scissor lift to change some smoke alarms. Yeah, so hopefully we get all this equipment in by the weekend and maybe we can get it set up in the next week or two. So I think the sauerkraut and stuff is ready soon. Hopefully it turned out okay. So this morning my guys put some more meat away. We're packing up some orders right now. And then I think tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, we'll be able to finish labeling some things and catch up on the uh, organ supplements products. Yeah, there's nothing in the fridge that's new. My farmer did tell me that uh, we might have some eggs this weekend, not a crazy amount. Yeah, this is the only thing new in the freezer. My guys put away the lamb livers this morning. So it's the whole liver. So it's, it's one and a half pounds two pounds or two and a half pounds i don't think we have anything else going on today guys the uh the steam kettle guy wanted to deliver it on saturday morning and i was supposed to drive over to that farm so maybe we'll just do both i'll have to get the steam kettle here pay the guy and then drive up to the farm i don't know guys like most of you know i've been having health issues with my liver since two or three years ago before that Dude, I used to like bartend and wait tables in New York City. I would, you know, sit in my car for an hour or whatever, drive down to the city, work like a 10 or 12 hour straight shift, not eating at all, on my feet, running around like a lunatic, come home, eat and go to bed. So like from, from a physical body stress perspective, like I was so used to doing way more. And ever since I had the liver issues, like it's not as easy for me to do that stuff. Although it's kind of insane and the average person can't really do that. Uh, you know what it is? I, I think a big part of it is the the new five grams towers on the road and stuff. So the, the last few times I did these drives, I would if I wore the head net the whole time, I was okay. I was fine. So, but I, yeah, I have to keep it on the whole time. You can't really do that at night, even though I'm not driving at nighttime. So I think um, I think it'll be okay. You know, it's it's three hours. You know, back and forth to New York from here is sometimes like two and a half. But once you go over like two hours, two hours and 15 minutes in one direction. It's like, it's, it's, it's a hard drive. It's a hard drive, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I guess I'll update you. I'll stop talking about that because it's not happening until the weekend, but uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow, Thursday. All right, guys, real quick. Wednesday vlog. Is it only Wednesday? No, right? No, it's Thursday. My brain's fried. Quick Thursday vlog. We don't have too much going on, but uh, my fridge isn't working, so... I'm trying to get a guy over here before the temperature on the fridge gets too high. Both units are not running. I think they might be hooked up to one condenser though, so maybe it's just one unit. Yeah, we launched the uh, tooth powder and the lip balm yesterday, and then we restocked some plain kefir today. I don't want to even open that fridge to show you guys anything because it's not running right now, so we'll leave that. At least the freezer isn't broken, but I think I was complaining yesterday. like. I, I've been spending, I think, like two or three thousand dollars a month just to keep these HVAC units up and running, which is not sustainable from a business perspective. Neither is the fifteen thousand dollar a year flood insurance, but I haven't lost all my hair yet, so we'll see. Uh, we might have a like a chicken soup product available this week. Well, we, we will. Like you know how we did the the beef meat in the beef broth. We're gonna do chicken meat in chicken broth. There's like a chicken soup base with corn and soy free chicken. So very high quality, very high in protein amino acids. And those types of like long stewed meat products in a very concentrated bone broth, it does not get higher in protein and amino acids. You know, we're taking hundreds of dollars worth of, of meat and bones and making a stock. And then we're taking more meat, muscle meat, cooking that in there, which is extracting B vitamins and amino acids and then putting the meat back in. So 
very, very nutritious, easily digestible product, and it also tastes good, and you can make it into stuff. So, uh, I think I think that's it for today. We don't really have anything going on. Uh, my guys have been finishing up the new organ supplements products, so those should be finished today. Then we're gonna get just one more shipment of some more stuff in next week. That should be easy to finish up. But I think we're gonna launch those without the, the final two products because I don't know when those are coming. Yeah, that's really it. Uh, hopefully that guy comes here, fixes, gets the fridge back up and running. Then uh, Friday might be a little relaxing tomorrow. And then Saturday, I got the delivery coming. Sunday, I gotta drive over to the farm, so not too bad. See you guys Friday. What's up guys? It is Friday, definitely feels like a Sunday. Uh, I was here late last night because the fridge wasn't working, thankfully. I uh, had a guy that could come over real quick and it was just like a, an issue with the uh, thermostat not sending a message to the compressor outside the turn on. So quick fix, easy, fridge is up and running. Didn't really lose any temperature in there, so everything's good. Uh, besides my sanity because I'm basically living down here. So today we are making Plain pemmican, which is going to be new and chicken in chicken stock, which will be new uh, We're almost out of the regular pemmican on the foods website Which we have to make more of and we pretty much ran out of best bars and quinoa crisp So maybe we can make some quinoa crisp next week also out of the micronola, which I have to find some meat that we can make it with see I took out the the backup fridge yesterday, I thought we were gonna have to use it. It does get cold, so it works, so we have a backup. I'm glad I didn't sell this thing. Here's the plain pemmican that you guys have been begging me for, for a while. It's literally a chunk of beef and beef fat. About 60% meat to, I think it's even higher than 60% meat to 40% fat. So uh, these are 12 ounce bricks, which is about 0.8 pounds. And these are gonna be available on the foods website for around $25 each. And let me tell you guys, like $25 for that amount of meat is a great price. My battery is actually running low and I forgot to bring batteries down and I don't really wanna film on my phone. Um, but there's a... But there's um My guy just dropped like fucking $50 worth of chicken on the floor, great. I'm losing my fucking mind, guys. I need a permanent fucking vacation. I fucking can't. Hopefully this camera doesn't die. I don't think we had anything else to go over today, Friday. Oh, we got the labels in for the organ supplements products. So my guys should be able to label that and we should have those ready by the weekend. So a few new things to maybe show you guys tomorrow, Saturday, uh, the new equipment too. And then hopefully we can make some more soups and stuff over the next week or two. Oh, I am worried that the eggs still didn't come in this week. So this chicken farmer is having a hard time. You know, we've been sold out of eggs for two months. At this point, I need to just like buy freaking feed for this guy. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's not feeding the chickens enough. I don't know if the chickens need something extra in their feed to start laying. I don't know. But us being out of eggs for this long is really, really bad. Even if we did have a few pallets of extra eggs that we saved up, we would have still been completely screwed. Completely screwed. But whatever. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully in two or three more weeks we can get the eggs, which is ridiculous because I've been saying that for like two months now, what feels like, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, Saturday with a new camera battery. What's up guys? It is Saturday morning around 9.30. I am shot. I've been up since like 6 a.m. I wasn't sleeping that well. Uh, so like I did some stuff at home, uh, came down here because this guy's delivering the steam kettle. He's supposed to be here already, but it's gonna be about another half hour. I ended up just being on the phone with my uh, one of my Amish buddies for half an hour and organizing some stuff. So we're gonna have the coconut oil potato chips back this week. We have the Wagyu beef fat chips available now. I think you guys bought all the regular salt. We just have the vinegar and then the mushroom ones left. But we're gonna have the coconut oil chips available too, so you can choose you know which one you want, whether it's Wagyu beef fat or coconut oil. This morning, my guys have been labeling the new organ supplements products. Well, not new. You know, we were selling this a year or two ago, but we finally have the beef powders back in stock in glass bottles. So this is a thyroid. We're gonna have 
pretty much everything back. Uh, still waiting on the female fertility and third eye though. Yeah, so here we have the immune strength, which is the thymus and the lymph node. Here we have the brain powder. Very hard to get your hands on beef brain. These are the uh, bovine testes my guys are still labeling. Yeah, that, that thing is what wasn't working in the fridge. There's a wire next to it, got covered in ice and frozen, and it wasn't sending the signal outside to turn these on. This is our latest and greatest product, chicken in bone broth. So this is the thigh meat, bones removed, in very concentrated chicken bone stock. So it's only chicken in this. Ingredients are mineral water, chicken, chicken bones, and salt. So similar to the beef product we have, uh, this is great base if you want to make chicken noodle soup, add some vegetables and pasta, whatever you want. You could have it on its own, but very, very special product. Nothing else has high quality online. We did get some chicken back in stock, uh, which is important because the local chicken share, you know, it's kind of like soup chicken. Got some of the organ grind back in stock. This is just regular chicken broth. We got a fresh batch of this in this week too. This is the, uh, the beef in the bone broth. Beef stock concentrate. I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or not. Uh, may maybe I'll throw it on there. Maybe I will. And we are out of the beef and barley stew this week, so. Oh, almost dropped it. I might make this this week. We might have it next week, not sure yet. Yeah, so main thing is we gotta launch these organ supplements products and then hopefully uh, the next batch of powders comes in and we can get the female fertility and third eye up available for sale. Yeah, I guess that's the big launch this week, the organ supplement stuff back in stock. I just showed you guys the new chicken product. Yeah, I think I showed you guys the new plain pemmican yesterday. That's a big one you guys have been asking for, so hopefully it's popular, we'll see. Uh, just very bland, very mild, you know, something you can travel with. There's like a book, I forgot what it's called. I think it's The Fat of the Land by Vlyamr Stephenson. And that's actually all they would eat. Like one day ration was about the size of the pemmican we're selling. So, you know, some people might look and say, oh, well, $25 for a block of pemmican, that's literally all you would eat for the whole day. It's, it, it's affordable in the context of, you know, a whole day nutrition. Yeah, I think my guys literally have like a day of labeling because we got to finish the, those supplement products and then label all the tooth powder and the lip balm. And, uh, and they got to put some meat away. And then tomorrow we have to pack up all the meat orders and everything. So we're going to be busy through the weekend and into next week. I'm uh, still a little worried that we don't have eggs in yet. Uh, the chicken should start laying this week and hopefully we have eggs back in about two weeks. That's a pretty big deal. But uh, I'm going to go do a little bit of work, print some orders out, and I'll show you guys the, you know what? Oh wait, no. Well, tomorrow's Sunday and I have to drive over to the farm, so I might not be able to film as much tomorrow. So just in case I, I can't get down here tomorrow, I'll show you guys the, the equipment when it comes in now. My guys are complaining it's cold in here. No, it's like 55, 60. I'm completely fine because I eat like three tablespoons of coconut oil every morning and I wear four shirts, but um, I gotta get the heater hooked up in there. Gotta get the plumber to come and put the gas line back on it. However, the reason I came down early this morning has arrived. This is a growing 60 gallon steam kettle. Allegedly came out of a prison, which <laughs> might be bad luck, but um, for, for $4,000, great, great, great price. Fully operational, guy tested it, and you know, e even used this size is gonna be around, you know, seven, eight thousand dollars minimum. So really, really good deal on this. Uh, brand new, I think these are probably 20, 25, 30,000. They're up there. They're, they're really up there, new. 
but I, I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't such a good deal. You know, I was looking at smaller ones. I was looking at a 40 gallon one for around 3,000. And then this 60 gallon one was up there. He wanted seven or 8,000, but he actually, he sold it to me for like 4,500. So great, great price. This is a uh, very high capacity for like bone broth and, and, and the stocks and the soups. And then this, you know, this like, this wheels down while well, you're supposed to, I don't want to do a, do this one handed, but you know, you, you take the lid off and then you, you turn that knob and it, it tilts and everything pours out into the pot. Yeah, so all this used equipment I've been buying is going to save me a ton of money and time and labor and also allow me to, you know, make recipes and do stuff that we weren't able to do before. Uh, so, you know, overall investment, very, very minimal for what we're getting. You know, if you're like some big corporate chain and you want to buy all that stuff, I think you'd be in for 75000 for all the new equipment plus install. I think we're going to do it for less than ten. so... You know, we spent some time, we got some good deals on the equipment, and uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to get you guys a few new products because of that soon. Mainly do like the cream mushroom soup, uh, the vegetables and the beef barley soup and stuff are gonna be more caramelized, so there's gonna be a lot more flavor. We're gonna be able to deglaze it with wine. And uh, more importantly, it's gonna be a lot easier on my guys labor-wise when we're making the, the soups and the stocks and stuff. So if they're not as busy, on that they can be doing other stuff making new products and uh, keeping everything available for you guys so thanks for joining i'm probably gonna go home and lay down a few hours I'm supposed to do a live stream today and uh and then we got it tomorrow we got to drive west to like penn state area see a farm and then hopefully drive back here in time before my guys leave and just check on a few things so see you guys sunday what's up guys i'm surprised my head doesn't hurt more it's like 3 p.m on Sunday. Uh, I got up around 7 but I didn't fall asleep last night for some reason every time I'm about to make a long drive in the morning like I always for some reason like never fall asleep so basically laid in bed from like 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. then I got up drove over to the farm looked at it for an hour drove back I mean it looks good uh, it's a dairy farm and the guy just like built this new barn two years ago. So I'm gonna see what he wants. He, he had an offer, he had a price on the property, but he didn't include the equipment. So he's gonna get me a price on the property with equipment, because otherwise I wouldn't want it. So we'll see what that is, and then we'll send him an offer. Maybe that'll work out, but the problem is it's like three hours straight west. So I have to like rent or get a place over there too. And I might be stretching myself too thin, but it's it's a really it's a really good opportunity because you know, the property, it's like an almost brand new building and it's only like a few hundred thousand. So I'm not going to find anything anywhere close to that price. So I, I might have to pull the trigger on this because otherwise it's going to take me, you know, another year or two to come up with something, which I'm not really patient enough to do. But I kind of need to. Uh, I was actually going to go home and eat something before, uh, before coming down here just to check what's going on. But... Not really much to show you guys Sunday. Uh, we got most of the meat orders packed up. We did run out of ribeye, so there's probably five or so orders that we're gonna have to send next week. So today Sunday, we're shipping orders tomorrow Monday, and then so about five orders right now. I have to wait until next week because we're completely out. We are completely out of ribeye. just cleaned the fridge it is looking awfully barren right now we have some duck eggs left so I'll just show you guys in the freezer real quick we have beef tripe now in one pound portions maybe something a lot of you guys have been waiting for you want to make any recipes with beef stomach by all means yo I was cold outside of this freezer today I'm not standing in there today there's, there's not much else to show you guys uh, you know, because I didn't eat at all today, so, you know, when you don't eat, your body doesn't have fuel, you just end up being really cold. Might have some chicken smalts, chicken fat, because, uh, of those soups we were making, there's a lot of fat. So, no normally, corn and soy-free chicken fat is, like, unheard of, but we should have a few jars. I might have to charge a lot for it, because I don't want people to just buy all of it. 
Yeah, so nothing, nothing crazy happening. Ran out of a few things, as I just said. Uh, main issue is we ran out of big coolers and they're not coming for another week or something. So we're gonna have to send like some orders in two coolers, which it costs a lot of money, but if it's only for a week or two, it's not the end of the world. Oh, uh, what else? We might have some pork back. I know some of you remember we did have a pork share where we were selling like liverwurst and scrapple and we had like affordable corn and soy free pork. Should be coming back soon. Should be coming back soon. We'll have a decent amount. Our Amish farmer had, had uh, about seven pigs that he needs butchered, so. We should have much more affordable pork compared to the Iberico. I showed you guys all that equipment yesterday, but uh, my brain is fried and I forgot to, to send myself my to-do list today. Uh, maybe there are a few things here and there. I showed you guys the organ supplement stuff uh, yesterday. It's all, it's, all, it's all labeled and ready now, so. My guys also, I think, finished labeling all the tooth powder, which was at least a few hours of work for all of them. So we got all the remineralizing tooth powder labeled. They're doing the lip balm. Vladimir, this is all finished? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did it all. So we got like a thousand labeled there. We got most of the organ supplement stuff back, guys. Immune strength over here. Did I show you guys this yesterday? I don't even remember. Big brain. We got the brain powder. I don't know why they taped this shut, but we have full spectrum. And in here is the the male virility, the uh, pure beef testicles. So I'm excited to have that stuff back in stock and uh, we should have the female fertility and third eye in like two or three weeks maximum. That stuff still has not come in yet. So, yeah, no, this is the, the last day of the vlog. So I'm trying to remember if there's, yeah, this is the last day of this week's vlog. So I'm trying to remember if there's like anything else I kind of need to tell you guys, but I was thinking about disappearing to Mexico every day since I moved here, so hey, who cares, right? <laughs> um, you know, we, as always, guys, tons of new stuff every single week, always trying to get you guys new products. A little bit of a challenge keeping some things in stock, like we got to make a few things on the foods website, like the best bars and the quinoa crisp and the granola bars and the meat granola, but uh, hopefully we can get that stuff sorted out this week and... Um, Maybe I can have, uh, yeah, maybe I can have uh, some somewhat relaxing days where I don't have to <laughs> drive in my car for seven hours on <laughs> no sleep, no food. So I'll talk about that more when it happens. So it's like a small dairy farm, but it's perfect because this guy has a whole creamery setup of every single piece of equipment you would need to do the cream, to do the butter. He's got bottling stuff. He's got like temperature controlled. It's, it would cost, you know, probably 200,000 at least for all that equipment brand. And it's a good, it's a good price for the land and everything too. So uh, what's even better is USDA can probably give me the loan at a lower interest rate. So hopefully that works out. That's gonna allow us to, uh, to just get the dairy at a more affordable price and start doing just more fresh dairy, maybe do some pickup sites and stuff. So that should be big. That should be big. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I gotta go eat something before I drop. Oh, almost forgot to tell you guys. Like before I left, I knew like there's always so many troopers on the highway, always a lot of cops, especially on the weekend. So I was like, I'm not going to take it. I'm doing cruise control the whole time. I'm not going more than like seven or eight over the speed limit. <laughs> so after I get there, maybe I'm, I'm half an hour into driving back. I'm going 73, 74 in uh, 65. And right before the work zone, I see a trooper. Th and then after I pass, they pull out. I was kind of going with the speed of traffic. So I was like, there's no way. I was in my mind, I was like, there's no way that trooper is going to pull me over. There's no way. I'm going like 73, 74, speed limit 65. Lo and behold. Trooper pulls me over, says, you know how fast you were going? As soon as it was a female cop, I knew I was going to get a ticket. I was like, oh, fuck, whatever. Um, said I was in the work zone. Like, it's a complete nonsense. It was it was right before the... So maybe technically, if they start the work zone a mile before the actual work area, it's just some fucking dog shit. 
Can't fucking stand it, bro. It's so stupid. I'm tired. I'm sitting in my car for fucking seven hours, and some fucking dickhead gives me a ticket for, like, it's it's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. Wor like, they set up fucking work zones to make money now. It's, it's so disgusting. I bet you all the tickets they're giving are right before the work zone, too. It's so dumb. Whatever. I've been nice. Bro, I've been nice, too. I sent the cops in this new town a whole box of meat and stuff. Maybe I'll send those troopers some meat, but I'll make sure it's the gamiest, toughest, nastiest meat they've ever gotten. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you for the next vlog.